hello guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy vets i hope you guys are doing well today and in today's video i will tell you some tips and tricks on how to make your genshin impact account stronger with that being said let's dive to the intro and then to the video the first tip of the video is to do the archon quest do them all starting from one tent till the end of Simuru it will give you lots of XP books and lots of primos once you completed them the second tip of the video is to do daily commission you get four daily every day when you do them you get 40 primos and by submission when you submit them to Catherine you get 20 so you get 60 primos per day and if you add Wilkins to it, 60 plus 90, like 150. So you get around 4,500 per month by doing dailies and getting a Wilkins moon every month. The third tip is to do events. Events gives you primos, gives you XP buffs, gives you Mora, gives you keypot furniture, and also gives you crown. To crown your character talents, your favorite character talents. That's amazing. Events give lots of stuff, including the most important thing is primos. On myself, I'm a mid spender, so my account is stronger than it used to be, but I still do daily commissions, do events, and art conquests as well. Tip number four is for new players and all players alike. The tip is to explore opening chests, uh, explore domains, like the domains that give you primos, solving domain puzzles as well, and opening domains give you primos as well, and also getting a depth key to open those areas, the small area, where you can get lots of primos. Tip number five is to stack Stardust and Star Glitter. Let me show you. So, I don't have many Stardust or Star Glitter. Like, you have to get those by exchanging. So, you can wish. Wish for characters, wish for weapons. So, that's tip number five. Here comes tip number six is to get around three to four characters that is level 90 and also three to four five star weapons that is level 90 as well with a few level 80 four star characters tip number seven is to get free primos whenever toyaverse do a maintenance update you get around 600 300 300 each in the mailbox in-game mail and also whenever they stream they give you codes to redeem let me show you how and you will get primos mora xp books let me show you how very quickly you go to settings and then account and then redeem code that's how you redeem the codes that Firebox gives you whenever they stream or a special program tip number eight is to get talent box and artifacts once you get to ar45 this will make your character more powerful another important tip tip number nine do side quest do a specific city quest also do a character specific quest and do the hangout event this will give primos as well tip number 10 is to achieve maximum rank in the teapot in your teapot this will give you primos xp books and more of, and other materials as well and also uh, achieve maximum rank maximum rep in east city this will give you rewards and diagrams like blueprints and also uh, try to achieve the maximum rank in the dendro tree and the Sakura tree, which is the Electro tree in Inazuma. This will give you fates so you can wish 
one more final tip I can give you is tip number 11 which is to consider elemental resonance which is like if you have two pyro two elicitro two geo and two dendro you have to consider those when you make your team comp all right guys that's it for the tips and tricks on how to make your Genshin impact account stronger with that being said I will see you guys in a future video. Peace out.